Hi everyone, I'm here today at Great Notley Park in Essex and I'm looking for a great northern diver that's been seen on the lake here. But first of all, I've got to find the lake. It's somewhere down here. The first thing that I spotted was this heron, but just in front of it was the diver. I managed one grab shot of it before it promptly dived, so I walked further up the lake in the direction it was heading. So after working out we were on the wrong lake, we've come up to this end and the diver was hanging around up here but it was among a load of mucky weed and stuff so it didn't make for great shots and the reeds are in the way. I did get a few shots of it among the weed taken with the OM1 and 150 to 400 mil lens with the 1.25 Tilly engaged to give me 500 mil or 1000 mil equivalent. on the 2 times teleconverter and the Panasonic G86 and filmed at 3000mm equivalent of the pixel to pixel mode engaged and got some nice close ups. It then dived heading towards the other end of the lake so I headed that way too. There's a path running round the lake, but it's largely wooded along the bank, but there are gaps every so often. It seemed to be swimming with purpose up and down the lake. Every so often it would appear beneath the surface. I got one shot with the G86 and the 2x tele combo, but switched back to the OM1 and just the 150-400mm lens for these shots. And I captured a full wing flap sequence too. and eventually it dived. and came out with a big perch. It spent a few minutes trying to subdue such a large fish. As the diver tried to turn the fish round and swallow it, the fish was still trying to escape. And nearly did a couple of times. Eventually it got the perch into position and began the struggle of swallowing such a big fish. But after a lot of effort, a lot of effort, eventually it went down. After a quick preen, it then, perhaps unsurprisingly, seemed quite content just floating around in the middle of the lake, digesting its rather large meal for the next half hour or so. At times it looked like it was going to doze off. I took a moment to enjoy being this close to a diver. I have seen Great Northern Divers before, off the Scottish coast, but it was at a distance, and I've been close enough to get record shots of red-throated diver before at Channery Point in Scotland and in Scarborough Harbour in Yorkshire. I even spent one week at Loch Marie, one of the few breeding sites of Great Northern Diver in the UK, but never have I been anywhere near as close as this to any of those species before. Yet, here I was, 20 or 30 metres away from this fantastic bird which is normally seen in Essex only on the coast and at a distance. I took the opportunity to get some photos as well. It started to become more active again, first looking beneath the surface, and then diving. It came out with some leaves. Perhaps it was practicing collecting nesting material for next spring.
It was diving lots and I managed to capture some slow motion footage. This is slowed down to 10 times normal speed. They are well adapted for diving and swimming with their streamlined shape, ability to flatten their feathers against their body and powerful webbed feet positioned at the far end of their body. But they also have another adaptation. They lack the hollow air filled weight saving bones found in most birds which help them to fly. And instead their bones are solid like those found in penguins which helps reduce their buoyancy allowing them to dive deeper and for longer. This does mean they are heavier and need a large lake to take off from, which might explain why it has stayed here for over a week. Although the lake is quite long, so hopefully it can still take off if it needs to. It would often hold its head just above the water level, neck stretched out, before it dived, which helped when I was trying to film it. Eventually the diver gave up hunting, and started preening when I got my first views of those fabulous large webbed feet it uses to chase after prey underwater. This species is mostly a winter visitor in the UK, which other than a handful of birds in the Scottish Highlands will have spent the summer in Iceland and Greenland. Usually in winter divers are found at the coast, sometimes turning up at large inland bodies of water like reservoirs, so it was a rare treat to see one in a lake like this where getting close views was relatively easy. I didn't manage to film it flapping its wings unfortunately, but I did get a second sequence of photos. And I got this sequence of close up photos of the head low on the water, unfortunately after the light was gone, so I had to pan with the tripod and the shutter speed wasn't quite as fast as I like. The light was going and I was running out of time to get home for the school run. It was just time to follow the bird for one more length of the lake and get a bit more footage. And I finished with a couple of quick photos when the sun reappeared briefly, before I then had to head back to the car. Well, that was a fun morning. I've got my best ever views, my best ever photos, and of course my best ever video of any diver, let alone a great northern one. Yeah, absolutely fantastic, as you can see. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video.